Nearly 30,000 applications for only 10,000 new energy license plates in Wednesday's draw. This year, up to 150,000 new license plates being issued by Beijing, 40 percent were for new energy vehicles. And all 60,000 have now been claimed by the lucky lottery winners. At this year's first license plate lottery, around 80 percent of the quota for new energy vehicles has already been given away. Now, the rest of the quota was given away on Wednesday's second lottery. It is estimated that around 10,000 applicants will start making reservations for next year's quota in the coming days. In 2010, the Chinese capital introduced a bi-monthly lottery for those wishing to own a car. At Wednesday's draw for gasoline car license plates, only one out of every 817 applications was successful. If you do the math, the chances of winning a new energy plate are a lot higher. No doubt many people want a new energy license because it is much harder to win a gasoline car license. Applying for a new energy license plate will boost their chances of getting on the road as quickly as they want. Last year, a total of 517,000 electric cars, plug-in hybrids and fuel cell cars were sold in China a 53 percent rise year-on-year. Year. But many industry insiders believe their sales are mostly the result of restrictive policies and bumper subsidies instead of organic demand on the basis of competitive products. On that note, Lu has a different opinion. Despite the rationale of winning a plate, more and more people are also realizing the benefits of driving a new energy car. They are environmentally friendly, convenient to use, and have a relatively low cost. In fact, you can easily find a charging pole within every five kilometers in Beijing. Plus, technology means that batteries are lasting much longer. Lu says what the government is trying to do right now is strike a balance between environment protection and limited road resources. But new energy cars, in his opinion, will one day replace all gasoline cars. Whether that day will come or not, it's likely that the market for new energy cars will continue to grow and prosper. Tsuhua, CGTN, Beijing.